Hello my friends, welcome to my Energy Economist channel. We're gonna start today by knowing the investment in oil and gas exploration, crane and heavy lift companies. So stay with me. U.S. Crane Sales and Rental and Heavy Lift Specialist Big says that its customers requirements for safely achieving schedule optimization continues to be one of the biggest drivers for business regardless of the industry served business in the global heavy lift sector continues to be driven primarily by the oil and the gas offshore wind power and nuclear power plant industries although infrastructure projects remain an important stable too according to Gert Hendricks sales director projects at Sarens our SGC range of cranes have been specifically developed in response to the changing needs of the market namely building oil gas or nuclear power plants and for maintenance applications in these sectors the onshore side of the offshore wind power sector is keeping us very busy at the moment too this comprises loading large elements for wind farms onto boats of erection at sea it was the increasing size and weight of items that certain customers required lifting and moving that prompted it to further develop the SGC crane range the first crane in the SGC range was the SGC 120 it was completed in March 2011 and had a lifting capacity of 3200 tons says Hendrix six years later in October 2017 we launched our second crane in the series the SGC 140 which has the same lifting capacity but a longer radius now we have two more SGC cranes in development the SGC 90 and the SGC 250 which could come to fruition as early as Q2 2018 and Q1 2019 respectively you can see we have accelerated the development of our SGC series the crane is currently being dragged and shipped to Kazakhstan where it will be used on Saren's big Tengiz Shifroil TCO project for approximately the next three years the crane's design has been optimized for transportation via standard size containers explain Hendrix we had barrier experience fitting the SCG 120 into containers and it has successfully been transported around the world with the SGC 140 we have allowed a safe window of three months to move it from Ghent Belgium to Kazakhstan TCO operates the Tengis oil field in Kazakhstan and Sarin has been working on the project since 2014 and the SCG 140 will be used to offload, store, stack, and transport refinery models to their installation points. Using the SGC 140 on the TCO project in Kazakhstan is a big milestone for Sarens, says Hendrix. It's a combination of our biggest crane to date and the biggest project in our history. But there will be more. We are eager to grow to take things to the next level. Another company going big is international heavy lift and transport contractor Mammoth. It performed its largest lift to date for lot chemicals ethylene glycol project in Louisiana, USA. In late September 2017, Mammoth used the PTC 200 DS, the largest crane in its fleet to lift a 107 meter long 1600 tons wash tower Mammoth 
has also completed the expansion of its site at the port of Freeport in Texas, USA. The company says that with the port of Freeport being in close proximity to several major job sites, the expansion allows it to accommodate increased demand to bring in, store, and distribute equipment to nearby projects quickly and efficiently. The additional space also provides a subleasing opportunity for clients in a secure site with 24-7 port petrol, Mammoth says. Mammoth reports an increasing demand for factory to foundation services, such as the project it has successfully completed for a fertilizer company, the agriculture, fertilizer, and industrial nitrogen manufacturer required the replacement of an R101 vessel at its plant in southern Alberta, Canada. The vessel was constructed in Styria and Mammoth transported it from there to Canada using several modes of transport including barge, ship, and rail. Once the vessel arrived in Alberta, Mammoth removed the old R101 vessel weighing 410 tons. It used a Lephar LR 11,350 lattice boom crawler crane. At the time, it was the biggest crane available in Canada, with a boom length of 126 meter and a capacity of 1,350 tons. It was needed because both the old and the new vessel had to be lifted up 72 meters through the roof. Italian heavy transport and lifting surface provider Fijuli has also announced the completion and near conclusion of a range of diverse projects. The company has been particularly busy in India where projects include the lifting, skidding and lowering of a 100 ton generator, the lifting a 130 ton boiler drum in in Rorkila and the lifting a 630 ton monolithic memorial stone in Bangalore. The stone had to be raised by 2 meters to rotate it. In Fijuli's home country, Italy, it has also completed the initial phase of a load out and load in sea fastening and transportation project involving 8 GTG modules and 7 PAUs for the oil and gas industry. The project also involved visually stacking an upper main module on top of a lower main module using a combination of skidding, tower lift and strand jack systems. The upper GTG module weighed 997 tons and was 57.7 meter long, 15.9 meter wide and 11.2 meter high. In 2018, Fijuli stacked the modules and loaded them onto a boat at a port in central Italy. Fijuli is also near the end of its long-term MOSE project. This involved transporting and installing barriers to help protect the city of Venice from flooding. For this high-profile job, Fijuli developed tailor-made launching gantry lifting system weighing 360 tons. It comprised four tower sections, top frames, two crosshead beams equipped with four L180 tons strand jacks designed to lift and position 19 of 210 ton mobile barriers into the water. Finally, Fajuli has announced it has opened a new branch in Indonesia to help extend its surfaces to this part of the world. This expansion comes following a positive spill for the company. If you want to learn more about the investment in oil and the gas exploration, crane and the heavy lift companies, you could do so in my book, Economic Study of Oil and the Gas Exploration, which is published on Amazon. Check it out at the link in the description. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and goodbye.